So I'm going to start off with some cream in a saucepan. I've got some caster sugar being sprinkled in on top. And then to oomph up all the sweetness that's in there, we're going in with some of this wonderful condensed milk, an essential part of a Vietnamese coffee. So I'm gonna get this on the heat. In on top of this mixture, I have one vanilla bean pod. So I'm gonna split this down the center with a very sharp knife. And you wanna try and capture all those wonderful little seeds. So get that straight in. Because I'm gonna strain this mixture, I'm also gonna take the whole vanilla bean pod straight in here so nothing gets wasted. And now all I need to do is whisk this together with a tiny touch of sea salt and just bring it up to a simmering point. While it is simmering away, I'm going to melt down the gelatin, which is essential to set this panna cotta. So over a little pan of simmering water, I've got some gelatin and some water. Now that my gelatin is evenly combined, I've got a nice smooth mixture. It's time to poke out that little vanilla bean pod. It has done all its wonderful works. And now I'm going to add the gelatin straight into this and give that whole mixture a really good whisk. So I'm going to split this in half. Half goes into this little saucepan here. I'm going in there with 50 grams of espresso beans and I'm also hitting it with some cocoa powder which is going to give that chocolatey flavour. Give it a really good whisk through and I'm going to leave this to sit and infuse with all that wonderful coffee flavour for about 10 minutes and then it's time to make our lovely panna cottas. The smell is intense and wonderful so I'm going to strain this out. Okay, this is looking pretty good. And check it out, we now have a lovely smooth mixture. Very, very nice and silky. So I'm gonna do exactly the same with my vanilla mixture. So just pour it straight through a sieve. Just press it through. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And now I have two wonderful mixtures, my creamy mixture and my coffee mixture. It's time to layer up our panna cottas. So what I'm gonna start off with is just pouring some of that vanilla bean mix. This then goes into the fridge to set. I have three which have been setting already and now I'm going to top it off with this coffee chocolate mixture. Now that I have two lovely layers, these now need to go into the fridge to set again and I'm going to repeat the process until I'm left with four perfect layers. And now I'm going to add a beautiful espresso layer over the top which is worthwhile because you get this intense coffee hit as you dive down through it. So coffee into the saucepan. To that coffee mixture I'm pouring in some more gelatin. Give it a good mix through and just to sweeten that coffee up, some caster sugar. Once that sugar is dissolved, I have the makings of a beautiful espresso hit, which I'm just going to put over the top. Now all that's left to do is stick these in the fridge to set for one final time and you should be left with a brilliant Vietnamese coffee dessert.